The Command and Control Rapid Prototyping Continuum C2RPC is a collaborative initiative by the Office of Naval Research, ONR, Program Executive Office for C4I, PEO C4I, and the Commander of the Pacific Fleet to develop the next generation command and control capabilities for the United States Navy. C2RPC is all about reducing information uncertainty while increasing the Battle Commander's operational tempo by automatically collecting and displaying information where and when it's needed, such as fleet readiness. Fleet readiness is how readily adaptable are the tools that we give to the warfighter to that mission that they are actively engaged in. Or the mission the warfighter could become engaged in at a moment's notice. With C2RPC, crucial information about fleet readiness that is presently gathered from multiple sources will be available in one place at the same time. For a C2RPC, you basically just go to the unit and you get all those different views of communications, um, logistics, ammo loadout, etc. It's all available to you right there at the unit at that one picture. And everybody who needs to know knows the same thing at the same time. It can make informed, aligned decisions throughout the chain of command because everybody will be looking at the same information. There are two big reasons why C2RPC development is so successful. First, C2RPC is being developed with direct input from the fleet. So we get input from the fleet, build a little, test a little, see how it works, go back to the fleet and keep iterating that process. It's a direct one-on-one -on -one with our engineers. So I'll have an engineer sitting next to the sailor um, and he'll walk in eight o'clock in the morning and say, hey, this is what I, I took your comments from last night. Here's what we've come up with. Secondly, the team is using a commercial off-the-shelf approach, which takes advantage of the best that industry already has to offer. The other part of it is, is we're leveraging innovations in industry to rapidly deliver this capability. In fact, the current C2 RPC prototype is hosted on web servers at Spa War System Center Pacific in San Diego and is running from standard web browsers at Compact Fleet with operational live data. Everything shown on screen is inside a single browser window with no applications installed on the PC. Besides a game-changing product, ONR has pioneered an innovative acquisition approach for C2 RPC, allowing for more rapid development. This has been a change in how we do acquisition and in that uh, we've been doing it on an accelerated timeline. It's been a uh, true partnership between science and technology and the operational user bringing them in. Rapid access to fleet readiness is the bottom line for operational effectiveness and C2RPC provides improved delivery. The speed in which information is uh, obtained uh, in order to be able to provide an accurate picture for our decision makers is uh, probably the, the most uh, significant improvement. C2RPC delivers multiple layers of information combined in one presentation which provides situational awareness leading to better informed decisions. Information includes the geolocations of all the resources under the command of the warfighter and the potential these resources will provide the warfighter hey, I need those resources to be positioned or allocated or capable of this set of things in order to meet the overarching warfighting need. And the fleet has to be prepared to meet multiple challenges anywhere in the world. From uh, humanitarian disaster relief type operations, even out to uh, major theater conflict. ONR support has been crucial to this effort. You know, I, I think what ONR brings is they bring that that vision and what's possible in the future, that infusion of new technology. C2RPC uses an interrelated common operational picture, or COP, with a halo COP, referring to the halo of icons that appear when the user hovers or positions the mouse above a track with more detail. The Battle Watch captain becomes aware of pirate activity off the coast of Malaysia, where pirates have boarded the merchant vessel Sunshine Lotus. We zoom the map to the indicated area and look for a U.S. combat ship that may be able to respond quickly with a show of force. 
Using C2RPC planning tools, the Maritime Planning Team selects an existing plan template and course of action, or COA, for pirate interdiction. The actions are then taken to mitigate the threat based on the timely and accurate information from C2RPC, not only about the threat, but also about what fleet assets are in position to deal with the threat immediately. There is no doubt that C2RPC works. It's a great system, it's a great model for how to develop systems with a close collaboration with the fleet and it should be continued into the future. I think the biggest win is, uh, is the warfighter and you finally having tools to deal with the information overload. We're very excited about the potential that it has to more rapidly and efficiently deliver capability, but also the process and how we can apply that to other programs in the future 